Alrighty, folks, we are live. It is Saturday evening. Welcome, welcome. We'll let the YouTube algorithm kick in for just a moment here. But as promised, here is our second live now of the day because the one we uploaded this morning, or rather last night, fed into this morning. And so two videos in a day, but as promised, I wanted to catch up on my normal video scheduling, and that is what we're doing right now. So uh, we want to take a little break from Social Security because that COLA video, you know, was just posted this morning. And so no reason to do a second COLA video if you haven't seen that one yet. The link is down below in the description. Rather, I, I want to discuss uh, something that we haven't talked about in a while, and that is student loan forgiveness. And a lot of people are unfortunately in, in turmoil right now. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. They're very confused. They have no idea if they're even going to get uh, this cancellation that Biden promised. So hopefully we can clear up some of that confusion for you guys and clarify exactly how and how much you're going to get of this student loan forgiveness. Uh, the Biden administration is now taking steps and has opened up platforms for you guys to hop on and apply. Yes, it is an application that you will have to submit. It's not automated, so don't just expect one day magically to see ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 worth of your student loans erased and that balance change overnight. It's not going to happen that way. There is a process you do have to apply, and hopefully that word is getting out and that's spreading to the American people because the way Biden announced it, it kind of sounded like it was going to be on autopilot, that you really didn't have to do anything. It was pretty turnkey, and that's just not the case. So I don't think the president is lying. Um, I think he could have been a little bit more clear on how this process will go and exactly the procedure to get the student loan cancellation, but make sure that you are following the president or the White House or the government, any government socials on social media and follow the headlines and the news because you want to stay updated every second, every step of the way as far as this process for student loan forgiveness. And especially if you have student loans, you're going to want them for your forgiven. And if you do qualify and meet the criteria, you better take advantage of that because it's basically free money, at least out of your pocket. So with that being said, guys, I think we are ready to get started and dive right in. Let's see. Here we have some people in the live chat. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you all on. Some familiar faces, some new faces. Thank you all so much for hopping on board. If this video gets to 500 likes, we'll do a cash giveaway where we give away $100 to a few of you lucky subscribers. So make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. And speaking of being subscribed, make sure that you are a subscriber to this channel. Have those notifications turned on as well once this Rather, once we hit 20,000 subscribers, we will do a cash giveaway and we'll give away double amount of cash that we gave away 10K. So, hope you guys are subscribed because that is some free cash Ola. A couple opportunities for you guys to make some free money all on me. Just my gratitude and my kindness for you guys supporting the channel. With that being said, I think we're all ready to get started and dive right in to today's news. So, let's see what is going on here with student loans. Well, guys... The fact is, is that the process is going and we're on a roll now as far as the steps necessary to be taken in order to get these loans forgiven, or at least partially forgiven. And the Biden administration has now opened up the application process for Americans that are seeking student loan relief in a beta period starting Friday evening. So this is just a beta test. It's not the full-fledged uh, platform that you will ultimately be going on, or at least all Americans will be. This is just a beta test. They're just kind of rolling it out right now and testing the system. So in August, remember, President Joe Biden announced the decision to cancel up to $10,000 in student loan debt forgiveness uh, for individuals making less than $125,000 a year or as much as twenty dollars for eligible borrowers who are also Pell Grant recipients. We discussed that in great detail on this channel. You can see all those student loan forgiveness videos on the channel. You can find them. Just try to search student loans or student forgiveness and uh, you will see all of them appear on my channel. According to a spokesperson for the Department of Education, they had just said tonight the Department of Education will be, uh, well, rather will begin beta testing the student debt relief website and during this period borrowers will be able to submit applications for the Biden-Harris administration's student debt relief program. The website is available at studentaid.gov forward slash debt hyphen relief forward slash application. We will put that link down below in the description of this video so you guys don't forget it and don't miss it. 
Now, anyone who applies for the debt relief in the beta period will receive a confirmation email, but their application will not be processed until the site formally launches. So it's not like you guys are going to get in during pre-sale or get in ahead of the game before everyone else. This is just, again, they're rolling it out, testing out the system to make sure that they can open up for all Americans. So it's not like you're going to be privileged or receive some prioritization. So again, not until the site formally launches, which is expected at a to-be-announced date before the end of October. So that's something exciting to look forward to. We will finally have that full website, and we will also announce this on this channel when that's ultimately set. Once the processing begins, most qualifying borrowers are expected to receive debt relief within weeks, though. So hopefully there's no bumps in the road, no hiccups with this. This is obviously something that's never been implemented in this country before in its history. This is the first of its kind, so it's not like the government necessarily has experience with the system. Obviously, there were tons of glitches and bugs and crashes when it came to the pandemic era relief and everything that came alongside with that, whether it was at the state level or the federal government level. Uh, tons and tons of problems, massive headaches during those times. I'm sure you guys are part of that crew. And so we're probably going to be feeling some deja vu. This is going to be familiar territory because this website will probably not go easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's probably going to be some problems and some complaints and we'll definitely look out uh, probably on Twitter. We're probably going to see some of those complaints. People are going to be saying couldn't get on or uh, the application's not submitting or they don't know what's going on. So we'll see some of those complaints and those comments as they start to roll in within the coming weeks. Now, the spokesperson also said those borrowers will not need to reapply if they submit their application during the beta test, but no applications will be processed until the site officially launches later this month. This testing period will allow the department to monitor site performance through real-world use, test the site ahead of the official application launch, uh, refine processes, and uncover any possible bugs prior to the official launch. So, that is good news, though, that if you are part of that beta test, you don't have to reapply uh, when that site formally launches the end of this month and so your application will be in it's going to be in the system but again you're not going to get some special privilege or placement you're going to be just like with everyone else because your application will not be processed until that official launch borrowers must have federally held student loans to qualify this is again a federal student loan forgiveness this is not apply to private loans now in addition to federal direct loans used to pay for an undergraduate degree Federal PLUS loans borrowed by graduate students and parents may also be eligible if the borrower meets the income requirements. Borrowers whose federal student loans are guaranteed by government but are held by private lenders, many of which were made under the formal, uh, former Federal Family Education Loan Program and Federal Perkins Loan Program, are currently excluded unless a borrower applied to consolidate those loans into direct loans by the date of September 29th. So definitely some fine print there, and it gets a little bit technical. But generally speaking, if you meet the requirements and it's a federally held student loan and you are under those income criteria, which many people holding student loans are, then you will qualify. This affects millions and millions of Americans. Individuals who earned less than $125,000 in either 2020 or 2021 and married couples or heads of household who made less than a quarter million dollars annually in those years are eligible for up to 10 grand of their federal student loan debt forgiven. The income thresholds are based on AGI or adjusted gross income. After submitting the application, once the website officially launches, most qualifying borrowers are expected to receive debt relief within weeks. That is great, and officials said that the goal is to begin to get the debt relief process ahead of next January when student loan payments will begin after a multi-year freeze amid the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sure President Biden was hoping and probably pushing to get this student loan done, uh, debt, debt forgiveness done ahead of the midterms, so that way people could have uh, had their loans forgiven prior to the midterm election. That would have certainly helped the Democrats and be on the side of Biden if that were to happen. But who knows what happened behind closed doors, behind the scenes, if it was even Biden's idea to begin with or his strings were being pulled by his cabinet and vice president. Who knows what's going on? I don't even know what Biden is necessarily deciding here and if it was even his thought in the first place 
to forgive student debt. The Department of Education is facing several lawsuits, though, challenging the student loan forgiveness policy. According to reports, a U.S. district judge could soon decide whether to temporarily block the program from taking effect after hearing a motion for a preliminary injunction Wednesday that could put student loan cancellation on hold until the judge issues a final ruling on that case. So that would certainly throw a monkey wrench in the works with that. Now, the Department of Education's technical team will be looking at the site performance in real time, and the beta version of the website will have scheduled pauses as the team assesses what refinements and tweaks are needed, according to administration official, and another official is adding that high spikes of demand are expected, and anyone who is trying to submit their application during a beta pause will be encouraged to then check back. There won't be any changes made to the application itself. There could be some changes to the website software as the tech team tracks how it's working in the beta mode, this is not necessarily information that you guys need to know. I don't think you're going to be on the IT side of things here and doing the programming and coding for this website, but nice to know what is going on. And applicants who previously signed up for updates on the student debt relief process will receive an email notifying them about the beta website. And once the website is formally launched, the White House will begin to leverage its social channels to spread the word. There are also plans to brief digital creators and influencers in the coming weeks, so Maybe they'll do a bit of an outreach with TikTok, Instagram, and all the social platforms to help reach as many millennials and Gen Zers as possible with these student loans and ensure that they know that they are being forgiven because not necessarily all of them are keeping a close eye or have their finger on the pulse of the government and politics. So maybe they'll be following a Charlie D'Amelio and she will let everyone know, all the youth, that... Uh, these loans are being forgiven if they haven't heard already. So we'll see what influencers, maybe me, maybe I'll be asked to ultimately spread the word, which I'm doing right now. So Biden, if you're seeing this, call me. I will get the word out, no worries, to my following. With that being said, guys, that is what we know so far. Again, it's just going to be in a beta test. Nothing has officially technically launched just yet, but we'll see how fast they can get that official website out, hopefully. The beta goes well. We don't want to hope for its downfall. Uh, we want to make sure that it goes as smooth as possible. And then, therefore, uh, that official website will be launched to the entire population. So, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a value out of it. If you did, spread the word on social media. Get the word out. And smash the like button. I'd appreciate that. Just help me and my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on. And also, guys, if you want to get some free stocks, all me, all free, use the links down below in the description. Sign up with the brokerage platforms, Robinhood and or Webull. You'll get some free stocks. Some of them about up to thousands of dollars in some cases. And if you guys want to connect me on social media, I am on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook. Use the social links down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care for now.